with three others, but will she fizz on her own? Ladies and gentlemen, from Bucks Fizz, it's Cheryl Baker. I'm Cheryl Baker, and I'm best known to be in one quarter of Bucks Fizz. I have always thought that opera is snobby and for toffs. Why does it all have to be sung in French and German and Italian? For goodness sake, I don't know what they're singing about. I'm just hoping that this opens my outlook on the opera. Do you want to know what you're going to sing for the first week? <laughs> yes, please. OK. So it's in Italian? No. It's Bella Nui. It's French. It's, oh, French. OK. Yeah. <laughs> I, don't, I, don't, I don't do languages. Cheryl is going to be singing Belle Nuit or Nuit d'Amour from the opera The Tales of Hoffman. La ton fait Jean Chaton. <laughs> I've lost it. Merci, no champla. Yes. 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 Your song is setting the scene rather than telling a particular story. So you need to come up with your own story so that you can connect with it and make it believable. Okay. Well, that's good because I won't understand a word of it anyway. So. <laughs> I do have a fairly vivid imagination. So in my head is a white horse, and sitting on the white horse is a beautiful man. I'm not going to say who the guy is. It could be my husband, it might not. <laughs> it could be Captain Jack Sparrow, because I think he's gorgeous. It's sounding a bit Mills and Boone to me. Oh, 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 you're here. You've arrived, and we're all going to have a snog. The fact that I can make my own storyline up really, really helps, and I'm so enjoying this now. I'm loving it. Singing to Jack Sparrow, whoever that man is on the White Horse, it's Cheryl Baker. She's clearly come, you know, you've come so far from the video of your rehearsals where you're just ridiculing the French language. Here, you actually enhanced it with your happiness and we can really feel that listening to you sing. So, well done, Cheryl. Thank you very much. Well done, guys.
like, um, you started very nervous, and I could see also that in your face, you know, there was no this beautiful smile. I could see you thinking, oh, this is uh, the very difficult aria, and I have to sing the notes. I think uh, that you were a little bit out of tune at the beginning of the aria. <laughs> then, thank you very much. Oh, then you oh, recover oh. yourself, then you recover yourself, and the second half was more the Cheryl I would like to see throughout the whole area. But I'm happy you're happy and you know it. I'm you show it over. very much. <laughs> <laughs> well, I have to admit, I, I, of course, Rolanda's right. Uh, 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 those technical things are true. But for me, it was indescribably touching. I was very moved. Oh. Beautiful. 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 The difficulty of this aria is that with the nerves, you've got to still be able to sing these long phrases and not run out of breath by the end. And you did that really well. I agree with Rolando. The tuning was slightly off in the beginning, but you did recover. And you sang through to the end. So I, I just thought it was lovely. Thank really you. lovely. Thank you. On the whole, the panel seemed happy. I want you to fess up. Who are you thinking of? Who are you singing to? Uh, I was singing to my husband because he's sitting over there. I mean... <laughs> oh, it's not way over there. <laughs> You are very relieved that it's over, though. Oh, I'm so, I've been so nervous about this. Sorry, I've, they've been putting makeup all over my chest because I've been going red and blotchy. And... <laughs> <laughs> no. You did yourself proud. You did yourself proud. You, well done. Darling. And thank you, thank panel. You. So, have you made your mind up? Yes, I've been desperate to say that. <laughs> about our show. Well, if you want to vote for her, you can do so when lines open in just a moment. Ladies and gentlemen, Cheryl Baker! Yeah.